And welcome back, this is Ballas Cooper with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I'm joined as always by my faithful squad of Abel, Novin, Bloom, and Sackman. When we last left off, Abel was a Dark Knight, and he was an awesome Dark Knight at that. Uh, we do need to keep him as a Dark Knight, even though he is a better warrior than he is a Dark Knight in terms of job levels. We, we need to keep him because there's going to be more dividing enemies in the next dungeon. And we are headed there now. We're headed toward the Cave of Shadows, I believe it's called. And that is where the Fang of Earth is. Now, in order to get there, we have to take a very convoluted path. I've already, I've already messed this up. It's a maze, so... Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Especially when you go with a very, very slow airship with a slow mechanic to get over these mountains. I said go over. Thank you. Why Why do you only listen to me half the time, Invincible? You are not as good as the Nautilus. Nautilus always did what I said. So yes, there's the cave that we're after. And I'm sure we'll have to take the most convoluted winding path in order to get there possible. So let's keep going around these mountains. I should mention about the dividing enemies. I know I've kind of gone over this a lot, but uh, the dividing enemies. If you kill them with a physical attack it in one shot, well if you kill them in one shot it doesn't matter what, damn it, doesn't matter what attack it is they will die, but if they live through your first attack, and it is a physical attack, then they will divide. Makes sense, yes? Damn it! I hate this maze. And of course, you know, I should know better, it's gonna be the longest way that it takes me. Wait. I can't go that way, there's nothing that way. So... Is there something this way? Something down here? Will you go over the fucking mountains? Thank you. There is. I did not think that was a way I could go. Okay, we've made it. Finally. To the Cave of Shadows. That took forever. Hate that. Hate that thing. Here we're looking for the Fang of Earth. I don't know if I've gone over that. That is the last Fang that we need. The last Fang. What's up, dude? Yes, from Falgabad. For further training, they divide and multiply when attacked by normal means and do not die. They you have to specify do not die, but there's already a secret passage here, and this contains a black musk. Now, that sounds like an attack item to me. What is that? Black musk. That is... yeah, it causes instant KO. That is one very, very strong musk that it will kill people instantly. Like, oh my god, seriously, who farted? Don't go over there. Somebody farted so bad that he killed himself. Oh, these guys again. And we already found a treasure chest. What's in here? Dark claws. Once again, if you have a monk. What's up, dude? Oh, he's injured and you can't see his face. Seems my butt dark blade was too weak, but it may have been my destiny to be here and meet you. Take this with you if you wish to venture forth. And you get another Kotetsu if you did not go into the place that we were already in. Falgabad. Such a weird name. I don't know why it's so easy to remember because it's weird, I guess. We need to keep going around here. And then through the not so secret passage to get Lilith's kiss. Oh, I think I missed a secret passage. I was about to say, I don't remember Lilith's kiss. There we go. And here we get a tranquilizer. That's what I remember, a tranquilizer. Uh, have we gotten Lilith's kiss before? I don't think we have. So let's take a look at that. It's probably way down here at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Absorbs life. Ah, I get it because of the, the biblical Lilith. That's not actually in the Bible, but still biblical somehow. And that's a, that's a story for another time. Let's keep going through these not-so-secret passages that they kind of force you to go through. Is there a way back up there? Are there new enemies? Yes, there are! What the hell is that? Uh, we got a hellish horse and a Visaya gold. So I'm going to go for Soul Eater just in case just in case they divide. 
Uh, we're gonna go for fire because fire is the best element in Final Fantasy. I don't understand it. And it's just like everything is weak to fire until you're like level 20. Didn't look like the hellish horse was though. Still alive! Damn. Cave in. That should be enough to finish off this damn thing. Down it goes. Yeah, another 4,000. If that doesn't kill you, I'm screwed. But for that bow, we get like crap gill and 2,320 experience. There we go. You know, just over a thousand gill for that. Really? Is there a way up? No. Okay. So let's go down these stairs and uh, just oh, huh, secret passage that leads nowhere. No, a dead end secret passage. That's awful. How dare you, game? How dare you? Secret passage with nothing in it. You're just trolling me, game. You're just trolling me. I found your secret passage. It was pointless. For the record, the uh, the gargoyle-looking things, the visajos, visajos. I, I I forgot what they were called. They do divide, so keep an eye out for that. Let's go to the right here first. Uh, are you kidding me? I choose left. Where is this going to lead me? Leads me to a battle with familiar foes. Come on, I know this has to go somewhere. It leads me to Genji gloves. Holy crap, are we really at that point of the game where you're giving me Genji gloves? I guess Genji gloves aren't as good as I remember. Uh, they are not as good. As I remember, <laughs> apparently. Uh, we'll, we'll put the, the protect ring on Bloom. Bloom does need some defense, even in the back row. Yeah, Bloom's a white mage. He's, he's not necessarily my best defender. But it does bail me out all the time. I know there's got to be a secret passage around here somewhere. And a new enemy. Okay, so we know that this guy, the Visajo, he definitely divides. So I'm going to go for Soul Eater because I assume that this Kronos... Also divides, even though I don't know why his name is Kronos. I don't know what he has to do with Chrono Trigger. I don't know if he's hanging out with Luca. I have no idea what's going on with that dude. Oh, go Earthquake! If you kill them all, that's it's just gonna be a lifesaver. Really? It didn't kill any of them? That definitely finishes him off, though. That right there, that is victory. It does cost HP, though. That's okay, we get 600, 640 gil? 640 experience? Screw you, game. Seriously. What the hell? That's crap. Alright, there's the secret passage. Really, we have to go up? And then left? Okay. And then... Seriously, what the hell? Is this whole dungeon just darkness and secret passages? Your secret passages confuse and enrage me. It looks like there's not really much of an option of where I can go. It's just a straight shot. Even though it's all darkness and hidden. Oh. Oh, come on. I know there's got to be something here. Apparently there is nothing here. So let's just go down these stairs. And hopefully we can find some more treasure on the next place. Yeah, there we go. There's an actual secret passage that... Good lord, this is a long secret passage. Where? There we go. Got to say, you wouldn't lead me all the way here for nothing. And here we get the Kiku Wichimanji, which I do want to equip on uh, on Abel, because it's it's the best sword right now in the game for, for anybody, even though it has the very strange name, and I'm sure it means something, and it's legendary, and in Japanese culture, but I do not know Japanese culture that well. Here we get the Genji Shield. Nice. And then Secret Passage to Oh. Did you just reskin the last floor? How dare you? How dare you, sir? Yeah, I don't use shields anymore, so. Screw the shield. Is there a secret passage? No, okay. What are we doing? We're crossing the Bone Bridge. Ew. 
But that does mean we're getting close to the end of the dungeon, right? You know, change the scenery, all that good stuff. And in here we get the Genji Helm. I mean, we are just Genjiing it up right now. Let's look at that. Holy crap, is that an upgrade? Uh, up by 15, it looks like. So let's go ahead and put that on and get into another fight. So let's go up here and hopefully we can find... Huh. Let's go to the right first. Ha! Secret passage out of nowhere! And in here we get the Genji armor! So we have the full Genji set! In case you want to use the... The shield. How, how is the shield? Eh, it does okay. It protects against some status elements, but... Uh, I have an attack of 230. I'd much rather have that than, than a little bit more of a defense. At least in this game. At least in this game. So let's go up here. Hold on for one second, though. Just need to make sure I was fully healed up. I'm very close. So let's go ahead and go up to the pedestal and grab us the Fang of Earth. We got it, you guys. We are done. We have the full set. Fang of Earth. Awesome. Who dares break the eternal seal? A dark shadow attacks you. Oh, no. What, what are we... Uh, what the hell? Oh, my God. We've got a blood elf. Oh, and he's half naked. This is a he Hecaton chair. Whatever. We're going to kill him. Uh, I don't think he's weak to anything. Once again, you can steal from him. Uh, what do I have? Uh, let's go for a jump. The uh, High Potion, Black Hole, Lilith's Kiss, and Raven's Jaw. Those are the things you can steal from them, none of which are particularly useful if you ask me. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Go, Light Rod! Eh, 800. Or 750, I should say. Not, not too bad, not too bad. Considering, you know, any attacks that we get out of Bloon is just a bonus to, to the character right now. Oh, of course. Damn you and your double turns. Okay, we'll go for terrain, and then we can start the cure. This this will keep everybody alive without the mage. This is all pointless. Yeah, Abel better get that five health back. He needs that for for five health. It, it, whatever he uses that for. Damn, another four thousand. Then he comes for another attack. Oh, he uses quake like a dick. It does. A little bit of damage, not nearly as bad as I was expecting, though. Let's keep going for it. Uh, we're going to use a regular cure. You're going to use a regular attack just to make sure you get cured. Earthquake, go! Another 3,300, it looks like. And this guy, you know, he should be falling down in, in no time. In no time at all. So it looks like I could have jumped with Sackman, but... Uh, safe than sorry. Go, Sackman! Heal yourself! Who are you gonna hit this time? Ah, I can live with that. I can live with that indeed. Let's go for the cure again. This time you can jump. Take on Hecaton... Hecatonker! Take on the Blood Elf! And down he goes! Not too bad of a fight. Odin was the biggest challenge, it looks like. Not too bad, not too bad. But for that battle, we get 8,000 gil, 3,600 experience, a job level up for Novin, and that's it. No no drops. He has like a 5% drop rate of some stuff. A lot of stuff, actually. And we get the Fang of Earth, which is the real reason why we came down here. We have to go back to Doga's Manor. I can't wait to see Udai and Doga again. Yes, let us talk to the old people once again. But we'll have to do that next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy III. I am teleporting out of here, and I will meet you back at the manor. I've been joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.